Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. Smash the thumbs ups out there. I don't know what's going on with YouTube this week, oh. um, but for whatever reason, like uh, we're getting suppressed. So the people who rang the bell, so they get notified every time we go live. Uh, lots of folks are coming in and saying that they they're not getting notified. So if you can smash thumbs ups, big thing, share it if you can on social media. That'll probably help us the most. And if you do that, we appreciate you. Yes, we do have uh, Big John here. We'll take questions, all that kind of stuff. It's Friday, like I said, so. Uh, what's up? What's up, Patrick? You look like you're ready to uh, go. Popping out chat. Popping out the chat so I can I can moderate questions. Okay, all right. There we go. <laughs> okay, so Babyface is looking at questions. Just, That's right. Yeah. At, at sign me if you got questions. Oh. <laughs> okay. If you have, uh, can you be bribed? Can you be bribed, Babyface? Uh, oh, definitely. Do you need definitely. anything in the apocalypse? You, you, me... you need toilet paper? You need... Uh, I could, you know, we have one, we have one case up, well, one, like, like uh, to, whatever, eight, twelve or eighteen packs. So that's I'm all. I have to start oh. holding my holding my poops in a little more. <laughs> that's all you have for the apocalypse. Because <laughs> yeah, we don't stockpile. Oh, no. that's, not, that's not something I stockpile. Oh, I just go man. to the Walmart right around the corner and buy it when I need it. Millennials. Dude, I hit Amazon. Just just, just calm down. Fury. After a little oh. bit of time, they'll have piles of things. Yeah, yeah. No, there's gonna be piles of it. Yeah. in No time. Go ahead, Big John. What were you saying? I was like, I hit at uh, Amazon with a fury whenever I saw it happening. <laughs> <laughs> How many? A yeah. truckload. Yeah, I, you had a throne or something like that. I saw Lola reposted yeah. that. You made a throne out of, yeah. t- of TP. That's not even all of it. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. You actually got it delivered. Well, obviously. so I went, to, well, I went to the grocery store I've been hearing about. It. I went to the grocery store, and I saw it was starting to mm-hmm. go sparse. And mm-hmm. I bought a little bit when I was there, and I came home, and I was started thinking about it. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go on Amazon and order a bunch. So. <laughs> and then I checked the next day to order more, and it was gone. It was off of Amazon. Wow. So I got it in yeah. right under the wire. Yeah. It got hammered. Okay. Yeah. It's a good thing that you didn't uh, order that from Cheaper Than Guns or something like that. Uh, yeah. 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 Cheaper than, yeah. <laughs> Did you see the people that were going on eBay to order? Or, eBay? Yeah, I think it was eBay. Yeah, they were going on eBay to order, and they were like, man, this is kind of expensive, but I need it. And then they realized they ordered, like, some people had ordered like three years supply. It came in like on like a pallet, oh. <laughs> like Jeez. a massive, massive amount. And yeah. they're like, "Oh God, I didn't realize I ordered that much." Now yeah. you're good well, for my road, roadside toilet paper. Yeah. That's what I'm yeah. selling roadside toilet paper. Yeah, I'm just going off what we've seen with the ammo shortages, uh, because even once people aren't freaked out anymore, like once you get that idea in someone's head that something is valuable, it, you know, because it, it's like value is all like crazy made up and created to a certain yeah. extent. So, like yeah. now when you see toilet paper you're like oh it's like gold you know mm-hmm. it's i can't believe like to get that out of your head mm-hmm. i've fallen I, for for a time i felt like i was kind of falling into that and i kept having to like slap myself and be like no yeah. just, i don't need like okay. i'll go to Publix or something and i'm like oh i could go look in the aisle i'm like i don't i don't need toilet paper what am i thinking <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah how many how many how many times have we been through this similar situation <laughs> yeah yeah not yeah. with okay. toilet paper with yeah. but with ammo Oh yeah, many. Yeah, times. with all the different band threats and everything else. Yeah, I have uh, th- every three words for you: great tulip fever. What was that thing called? I don't know. Tulip. One of, tulip. What was it? Was it okay? Someone tell me this. Wasn't it like the tulip fever or scarcity or the tulip run? No one remembers this, huh? I have no idea what you're talking uh, about. Uh, yeah. So okay, someone will okay. someone will fill us in here. Back in the days, in the olden days, there was this. I don't know. Somewhere over in the in the Europe's, there was a run like tulips were a thing. Tulips were a thing, the, the, and then all of a Netflix, sudden there was a tulip the, run, and tulip the prices went tulip up. App, yeah, if you didn't know. Yeah, so there was like this massive tulip run, and everybody was buying up tulips. I think like tulips had something to do with royalty or whatever, and then it just went crazy. Everyone's buying all the tulips they can get. The prices of tulips went out of control. Um, you guys never heard about that, huh? I know. Oh. oh, okay. All right, babyface. See if you could look that up. See if I'm just making. I might have had a dream about that. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I might have. Might have had a dream about the Great Tulip Run, or the tulip scarcity of like 170 something or whatever. But uh, let me. Holy see. cow! I mean, I mean, there was the potato famine in Ireland, but I never Tulip's heard of the Tulip Run. <laughs> Is this yeah. what you're talking about? Tulip mania. Tulip mania. In, uh... There you go. 
was a period in the Dutch Golden Age during which uh, contract prices for some bulbs of the recently introduced and fashionable tulip reached extraordinarily high prices and then dramatically collapsed in February 1637. Holy shit. Yeah. That's a long time ago. Yeah. So, human beings, we are crazy. Yeah. So the We're price, crazy. standard price index for a tulip bulb went from, uh, I'm looking at a chart, uh, November 12th of that year, it went from about, I don't know, $10 to February 3rd of the next year was at $200. <laughs> For a bulb, or, one bulb. Uh, with, I'm guessing it was like a certain amount, like yeah. a stock uh -huh. of bulbs or something. Yeah. This is how crazy we are. There's some kind of crazy effect that happens. Yes. I think well, maybe, maybe I started this because someone asked a couple of weeks ago. I didn't start this, but... So, do you remember people were asking like, "Oh, what's the one thing you have to have in the apocalypse?" I said toilet paper. Food, That's always, <laughs> water. So, toilet paper is always <laughs> high on the list. So, Food yeah. and water. So people saw that some somewhere people started googling it. It came up. Oh, toilet paper. <laughs> like, oh, it's the end of the world. Let's go get all the toilet paper that exists. It's insane. Yeah. it's completely insane. Yeah, um, yeah. but then it becomes okay. a thing where it's like. You know it's crazy, but then if everyone else is buying it up, you gotta you gotta gotta yeah, get like, on oh, this. Man, I, gotta, I gotta get in on this. Yeah. I can't I can't not be out there. Yeah. You know? yeah. I can't miss out on my paper. You don't want yeah. your next door neighbor to have more toilet paper than you. <laughs> yeah, people have been saying like, oh, just you know, just go in the shower afterwards. Who wants to take a shower every time they use the bathroom? All right, can I can I right. ask my bidet question? Oh, oh God, oh, here we boy. go. Oh, okay. Okay, I I don't have one, and I don't intend to ever have one. Okay. So you wash your bottom with the stream of water, right? Right, right, right. This is what you I have hear to about dry that. your you have you have to dry your bottom, right? Mm-hmm. Some of the days might have a, some of the days might have a dryer. What do you? Oh God. Or oh, no. Or, or you put in a hair dryer. What do you use to dry your bottom? What do you dry your bottom with? I'm guessing you got a butt towel or um, something. Listen, so, in oh, my no. opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, God didn't make us with toilet paper. I yeah, mean, like, really, if you think about it, uh -huh. you take a shower, you wash your bot, your butt, and then you just use your yeah. towel to dry your butt. So, I mean, it's clean. Yeah, but you don't. Part of it's our diet, probably now. Oh, God, you know? yeah. Oof. In the old days, like the kind of stuff they ate, it maybe wasn't as big of a deal or something. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Came out more solid. Yeah. Like potato chips? Toilet paper potato might be a great, <laughs> it, it might be a great invention that might have saved a lot of people. You never know. I don't, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet running around the internet, but this is uh, – Marley sent this to me a couple days ago mm -hmm. called the Backyard Bidet. Mm -hmm. I think this is a uh, it's a great idea for anybody that needs something similar. Right. A garden hose? <laughs> okay, this, so, is not, right, right. this looks like a torture device. <laughs> with a hole in the seat. <laughs> um, it also... try, try, to try that outside when it's like 16 out or something. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> You guys don't want to like, what... uh, spread the poop around. Really. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you fertilize your grass like at the same time. You know? <laughs> yeah, um, I saw something like that on Pornhub, but I'm not gonna. I'm not, no. gonna, I'm not gonna deep dive. I'm not gonna deep dive into it. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm getting people texting me to asking about whether or not we're doing. Yes, we're doing this. So. Uh, I'm not really sure what's going on, but people are texting me that I don't know. Probably something's going on with YouTube. Remember the YouTube, oh. the YouTube overlords are not actually there, so they've let they've left Telnet. Telnet <laughs> is 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 monitoring the stream, so who knows what is going on and why they're not notifying. Uh, Walter, please don't get us deleted. It's not, just a magazine. Okay. That's all not this. They don't know that. Walter, this is supposed to be a big I'm show. I'm loading them shortly. So. This is supposed to be a big show. We got Big John on. Can we please? Know, can no, you no, please no. not get us? <laughs> so uh, listen, I will admit I did do a little bit of panic oh, buying. Boy. I got I got a nice. couple. You got comments. magazines. I so I realized over the last couple of years, whenever a friend gets into shooting or anything like that, I'm always like, oh, here you go. Here's a P mag to start you out with, like as a as a welcome to the club sort of thing. And then I looked in the safe the other day, and I was like, "Damn, I only have like seven mags." You gave away all your. You gave away all your mags. <laughs> yeah, I gave away my P mags for the last like five years. Oh, you should um, you should do like me. So whenever people send me stuff for T and E, so obviously you know things come in for T and E. Most of the time they have to go back, right? If they come with mm -hmm. magazines, magazines don't go back. Keep it. Yeah, <laughs> that's my policy. <laughs> magazines never. I get the magazine. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, magazines never get returned. Okay. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.